Your care team will often draw a blood sample when you come for treatment. Your provider will review your blood work to monitor your health. This blood work includes a comprehensive metabolic panel, CMP, and a complete blood count, CBC. Red blood cells carry oxygen throughout the body. A decrease in red blood cells may occur due to your cancer, your treatment, kidney issues, poor nutrition, or other health issues. If your red blood cell count is decreasing, you may experience shortness of breath, weakness or excessive fatigue, dizziness or lightheadedness. If you notice any of these symptoms or you experience a racing heartbeat, contact your provider. If your red blood cell count is too low and your symptoms persist, you may need a blood transfusion. Platelets help your blood to clot. When your platelet count is low, you may have an increased risk of bruising and bleeding. Platelets can decrease due to your cancer treatment, the cancer itself, or from some medications. If your platelet count is low or expected to decline, your provider may ask you to take special precautions, including using a soft toothbrush, using an electric razor to avoid cuts, blowing your nose gently, keeping your nails short and using care when cutting your nails, avoiding constipation, and avoiding situations where injury may occur. Contact your provider if you notice any of these symptoms, unusual bleeding or bruising, frequent nosebleeds, bleeding gums, or blood in your urine or stool. If your platelet count is too low, your provider may order platelet transfusions until your count returns to a safe level. White blood cells fight infections. Some cancer treatments, such as chemotherapy, can lower your white blood cell count. White blood cell counts typically decrease 8 to 12 days following treatment and then start to rebound. If your white blood cell count gets too low, your immune system may become compromised, making you more susceptible to infections and fevers. You can prevent infection by practicing good hand hygiene, wash your hands with soap and warm water before eating or preparing food, avoiding people who are ill, stay up to date on your vaccinations, but also ask your provider if there are any you should not receive. Following food safety precautions, wash fruits and vegetables well, and make sure all meat, poultry, and fish are cooked thoroughly. It's important to contact your provider if you have any of the following symptoms. Any fever greater than 100.4, cold or flu-like symptoms, chills or sweats, productive cough, any red or draining wound, a white coating in your mouth, burning, difficulty, or frequency with urination. If you have any questions about blood counts or any of the information in this video, contact your care team. We are here to help.